Hi, I'm Greg Parasino, President of Commercial Sewing. And I'm Scott Gordon, Customer Service Manager of Commercial Sewing. Greg, tell us a little bit about Commercial Sewing. Commercial Sewing has been in business for 40 years, servicing the power sport and marine markets. We're well known for our covers, that, uh, for snowmobile covers, personal watercraft covers, ATV, UTV, as well as motorcycle, as well as marine covers, cockpit and bow covers, and bimmy tops for the marine market. Scott, why don't you let them know a little bit about the Mastercraft mooring cover. Each Mastercraft mooring cover was designed specifically for Mastercraft in every boat configuration. Talk about some of the specifics of the covers. Sure, the main feature of our cover is our patented vacuum hole trailering system. The patented vacuum hole vent system and the cinch strap ratcheting system are designed to allow the cover to be towed on your trailer at highway speeds without billowing or buffeting. This eliminates potential damage to the boat and extends the life of your cover. The anti-pooling pool system is included to prevent the pooling of water from stressing your cover. Surelast fabric is used because it was specifically designed for this application. It is dimensionally stable, which means it will not shrink or stretch. It has a very high degree of water repellency. It will not abrade the gel coat surface it touches. It also resists wearing through. It is solution dyed, which means that the color is throughout the filament and it will not fade to a white color. It will continue to fade to its own color. Other features of our cover are things like the fuel openings, cleat reinforcements, and the stainless steel ratchets that we use. The reason for proper installation of our cover is to properly to protect your boat and to gain all the benefits that the cover inherently offers. The white straps will go toward the front of the boat and the black straps will go toward the rear of the boat. Should for some reason your poles become disconnected from the pooling plates, primarily the shorter pole goes in the front and the taller go pole goes toward the rear. In this specific configuration, the white straps will go around the rails. There's also cases where the white straps will go around the handrails or the front cleats. Connect the front straps around the rails. Work your way toward the rear of the boat. Making sure that the webbing does not become twisted. Pull the center strap over the windshield. Making sure your center strap isn't twisted, work your way to the back of the boat. Stand the pole upright. Connect your rear straps around the rear cleats, making sure that the straps do not become twisted. Go back, inspect the pole, making sure that it is centered and vertical, and cinch the rear straps. Noticing that the system becomes self-centering, and adjust as needed to keep the straps tight. This will help shed the water off of your cover now you're ready for cover installation. What you want to do now is fit the edges of the cover to the edge of the boat. Keeping it centered. Put the cleat reinforcements over the cleats and open up the cleats 
This will help keep the cover in place as you work your way to the back of the boat. Connect the Velcro and the buckles around the front tower leg. You've worked your way over the windshield, and now you're going to connect the buckles and the Velcro around the rear of the tower. Attach the rear cleat reinforcements over the rear cleats. I've shown you how to install the cover from inside the boat. Typically, at this point, we would move to the swim platform and continue with ratcheting the cover. For purposes of this video, we'll go to the ground level. Starting in the corner, work the material below the rub rail. Feed the confidence strap through the hook, connect, and cinch it tight. This will help keep the webbing below the rub rail for the ratcheting process. When you unzip the ratchet pocket, the ratchet may be partially spooled. Re release the ratchet by unspooling the webbing. You want to create a one-way tensioning strap. To do so, turn the barrel a complete revolution so that when you pull back on the webbing, you don't have any give but you can pull it the other way. We now have two one-way straps. What we're going to do now is work all of the excess slack out of the webbing. Do so by going to the side of the boat, making sure that the material and the webbing is below the rub rail. Do that on the opposite side as well. Using your one-way straps, firmly grab the webbing Evenly pull it back and forth, working all the slack out of the webbing. You may at this point want to check again, make sure that it has not risen above the rub rail. Now you can release the tension on the confidence straps. and you may be able to pull additional slack out of the webbing. You are now ready for ratcheting. Begin ratcheting by giving the ratchet a couple pulls in one direction, matching that on the other side.
Keep the ratchet centered as you ratchet. Continue ratcheting until it's very hard to pull with two fingers. In a mooring application, this will be adequate. So you are to zip up and close the material pocket over the ratchet. In a trailering scenario, you want to go to the side of the boat and make sure that there's not any excess slack in the webbing. It should be tight along the rub rail. Now that you've pulled down along the side of the cover, you may find that you still have a couple cranks left on the ratchet. Tuck the webbing inside the ratchet pocket. Zip the ratchet pocket closed. And connect the Velcro. At this point, you want to make sure that the confidence straps are not applying any pressure to the cover. Now, I can show you how to install the additional trailer strap. Connect the buckle on the strap on the long end to the buckle on the cover. Feed the buckle on the other end through the hook. Using a little bit of force, push the buckle through the hook and connect the two. Cinch it down. Do not allow the cover to be tensioned as seen here. Simply cinch it. It's only meant to hold the cover in place. Take the excess webbing, tie it in a knot. You're now ready for trailering. <laughs>